What is up guys, this is Morton Power 35 here and today what I got for you guys is my final thoughts and impressions on the Infinite Warfare beta and uh, this is the video I planned on making um, in conjunction with the video I made uh, last weekend which was my thoughts and opinions or my first impressions on Infinite Warfare uh, or at least the beta that is um, just off me playing a couple of games and things like that but now what I want to do is bring you guys my opinions on the beta as a whole in both weekends because as you know PS4 players got to play both weekends so I'm gonna go over some stuff that I like uh, that I dislike to just give you my feel for the game and then at the end of the end of the video I'll tell you guys what my overall opinion was of the beta so to start things off um, what I, one thing I thought about the beta is that most of the guns were balanced really well. Um, that being um, the submachine guns, that being the assault rifles, um, and the sniper rifles. Um, some say the sniper rifles are a little bit overpowered, and I'll say that to a degree because I am not a sniper by any means, and I was able to get double collaterals in a video that I did for you guys a couple of days ago. So. I'm not the best sniper in the world, so for me to be able to do that, that was a little bit of, you know, of a stretch. So the the snipers are a little bit overpowered, but I think they're the class in general is balanced well because you got some really good snipers, you got some okay snipers, and just some ones that aren't that great. Um, next thing is the the maps played really well, or at least most of them did. Um, I enjoyed all the maps I actually did enjoy all the maps um, I know I said in my first impressions video that I didn't like frontier but I ended up starting to like it um, I, I feel like there's a certain style for each map um, that you you can play um, especially with frontier uh, it was mostly long-range uh, sniper assault rifle um, in the main corridors and then in the like little side hallways you could uh, play with your SMGs uh, but overall I think the maps played well um, and I know uh, some people didn't like some of the maps but I'm gonna get into that a little bit later uh, the next thing I want to talk about is there was plenty of content and uh, levels throughout the weekend um, the original level cap for the first weekend was level 30 uh, that continued into the first two days first day or two days of the beta and then they upped it to 35 of the second weekend of the beta um, I feel like there was great content it started out with three maps uh, they ended up adding I believe a fourth one um, the Saturday uh, uh, the first Saturday of the beta um, of the first weekend um, and then they added uh, different game modes throughout um, they ended up having to take some out to fix them but overall I feel like there was plenty of content and levels and guns and stuff like that for us as players to be able to sit down and dissect and you know just let them let Infinity Ward know what to fix and what to leave alone um, and I feel like that was there wasn't too much content either so that we still have a lot to uh, a lot to gain in the uh, in the full release of the game so that was that was something that they've been doing really well um, the next thing is that the devs uh, responded really quickly to the um, to the community feedback. Uh, they they jumped to action with the because uh, the servers were terrible the first day of the beta, um, and they jumped to action. I know it. We didn't get to play it the first day of the beta, um, so they ended up extending the beta. Uh, for the first weekend, um, which helped out a lot because it ended up making the beta the uh, the full length that was supposed to be. Um, and yeah, they they were they were actively listening to community uh, feedback about different you know things. And that's something I feel like they've they've been doing really well. Um, I know they they they've been under the the uh, spotlight for not listening to the community with the style of this game but that's not their fault when they like I said in a video that I've made a few weeks ago that they uh, they were trying to make a game to fit the community's opinion uh, when this game first started developing so I don't think that's their fault but I feel like they've been doing really well listening to the community with their beta um, and that's a that's another thing that's a plus for them 
another thing is that I don't feel like the movement affected uh, gunfights that much um, compared to the previous two Call of Duty games where Advanced Warfare, you had boost jumping that you could boost jump two stories and kill somebody. And in Black Ops 3, you could wall run and boost jump to get away. I feel like because of the movement system had been slowed down that it didn't affect um, the gunfights as much, which is a good thing. Um, if they could polish up the movement system, like make it a little bit smoother, then it would be, I think it would be a great uh, way to utilize the movement system and boots on the ground gunfight combat. Um, so that's another thing that I felt like they did a really good job of during this beta. Um, like I just said, the movement stayed really clunky. Um, I know they probably didn't have a, a chance to fix the the movement engine in the beta, so um, I'm gonna give them a pass on that. Uh, but overall, I felt like the movement is gonna be really well. It's gonna play really well. Um, like I said, it's not gonna affect uh, gunfights all that much. Um, and then we're gonna get to uh, graphics. Yeah, some of the maps were really, really dull. Um, going back to like the style of Call of Duty Ghost, which I know is their other title. Um, I just I felt like some of the maps were really really dull like you have throwback which is an out an outside map and it's it just felt dull they could the graphics could use brightening up um I I just I feel like it's it's not as bright as it could be uh, and then yeah the maps they were just they weren't all that great so my final thoughts on the Infinite Warfare beta is I came into this beta with low expectations due to the fact that it was going to be um, in space and I didn't want to get my hopes up too much to be let down and I feel like that they delivered um, they ended up uh, raising my expectations for the full release of the game I'm actually really excited for the full release of the game um, and then I can't wait for Modern Warfare Remastered from all the gameplay that I've been seeing from some of my favorite YouTubers uh, that have inspired me to do uh, YouTube. I cannot wait to play uh, both of these games. I think this is going to be a great year for Call of Duty. I do not think Call of Duty is dead. Um, hate me or love me for that. Uh, I think that this year uh, with having two games is going to be great for those that are buying both games. Um, and then we have other alternatives if they don't like the game like they have battlefield if they don't want to play call of duty they can go to battlefield they can go to titanfall 2 um and all in some of these other games and that's something that we haven't had in years past so yeah um that's gonna be it for this video guys um let me know in the comment section what you guys feel about the beta uh let me know what you feel about what i've said in this video and then if you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Um, and if you're new to the channel, I hope you stick around. I hope you love my content. And if you do, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, I will see you on the next video.